Missiles incoming. Yep. Flak. Ah. Savior of the battle star. I haven't sang that in ages. Hey everybody, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Reinforcement Pack. Chris here, and we're going to start Season 2 with the Reinforcement Pack. Oh yes we are, we're going to start it right now. Uh, it was meant to come out Friday, um, it came out today, so luckily I was at my uh, work's Christmas party. Uh, which means that I got to sneak out early and get back. Um, I had my phone connected to Steam, so I, I bought it there and then. And uh, shot back here, uh, booted up, installed, and we're here. Um, you can tell it's the reinforcement pack. It's got it down here. Reinforcement pack comes with a lot of new stuff. Uh, four new ships, two for the Silence, two for the Colonials. Uh, there's some bits and pieces on the Intel screen that are actually making the Intel screen useful now. Um, and they uh, have added uh, controls so you can separate the fighter squadrons out. Um, into kind of like wings. I mean, they've called them squadrons, but you get like a squadron on the Adamants, two squadrons on the Artemis, things like that. Um, but you can now separate them out so you can attack multiple targets and you don't have to do that individual squadron clicking thing, which is great. Thank you very much, Black Lab. Um, so, new campaign. I'm going Commander. I'm <laughs> we struggled um, towards the later game on Commander. I, I really want to try Admiral. I mean, we could just stick the uh, the Daedalus into Ragnar Anchorage. Higher supply cost, more Cylon fleets from Saranus. Saranus? What? 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 Saranus? The Royal Fleet costs. Standard Battle Scout Galactic Deadlock Experience. Cylon forces from Hatchet Ship for Ship. Fine. Higher supply costs and more silent fleets roam Saranus. Recommended for experienced players. Well, we are experienced. Now, we're going, Commander. Some of the tutorials were completed in previous game. Do you want to reset these tutorials? No! We are awesome in our awesomeness. After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. I'm going to go through all this Peace again. Peace would reign in our lifetime and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter uh, Project was supposed Jupiter. to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the twelve colonies were promised one, in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. Hello, pretty. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing. Two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Dun, dun, dun. Bah, bah. Pycon's capital cities were <laughs> devastated by silent assault fleets. Yeah. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Adamants are awesome. We really are. I'm wondering about Command how these the new ships... fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to operations commander of the entire colonial fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on Pycon. We know this. The war room awaits your arrival, Commander. Awesome! Let's have a look at these new screens. I want to see these new screens. Um, I'm hoping they, they didn't say anything in the notes about updating the Jupiter class. 
Um, I was going to do a big change, a big setup of how we were going to do different things, and I was going to do a, a video Hi, on. Battlestar is almost ready to deliver. Thank you. But Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to PyCon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Why, thank you. Um, I was going to do a kind of overview of what I thought was wrong with the previous game. Um, you know, before the expansion. But then they put out notes about the expansion and it was like well a lot of the stuff that's I was going to complain about or kind of or complain kind of go hmm I would change this um was in those notes so I thought you know what no we'll just wait for the DLC to come because it was obvious it was coming soon uh, right so we have a fight to do chapter one Daedalus let's rock yeah I haven't played Battlestar since the last playthrough I haven't I really do hope they've changed some bits about that. Let's zoom out a little bit. A bit more. A bit more. Uh, right, Daedalus. Launching them. Okay. Can we? Interesting. The controls are slightly different. They feel slightly different. Not sure. Um, so say we may are. Or we zoomed out a lot further than we used to be able to. I don't know. They've changed the. Uh, Control slight at least I think they have. I'm not sure. Um yeah. Yeah, we need to get targeting lock, don't we? Um you actually no, not you. You can stay up that you can boost that um, and you can actually greatest range you yeah, they've changed things slightly they must have um, you can boost and get in close faster all right go Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. I'm not going to complain. Yes, Commander. Uh, you are focused already. You are focused already. We're going to slow you down as well. Control. Maybe we get given that ability later or something. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what it is. We'll probably get given the squadron ability later. Go. Bye bye, buddy. Hey, they've still got the remix music. Come on. Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Okay, if you insist, we'll kill that too. Yes, sir. Uh, boost Dreadus range. Actually, we don't need to boost it that far, do we? No. You. 
On it, Commander. Focus on there. Focus on there. Yes. Oh, they're already part of Squadron 1. Is that? Oh, this is gonna be confusing. I don't like confusing. It's got a one at the bottom corner, so I'm assuming that you're allowed to make Squadron them target is confirmed. attack. But I'll I'll figure that out. Squadron target is confirmed. I've even looked at any of the. Uh, other screens or anything. I've just literally said, you know, I want to be able to start Hostile playing unit this now. Missiles incoming. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to eat them because uh, they were missiles, so yes, we had no sir. choice on that score. Uh, you can boost that. You can boost there as well. We've got vipers coming in. You come around that way really quick. You come around that way equally quick. Yes, sir. Go. Guys, seriously, you want to shoot? We're not going to fire missiles because we don't know if something else is going to come and say hello. Dudes, come on, shoot at it. Ah! Oh, so annoying. Go. Yay! All hostile contacts are down. We recorded a bid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, proceed. Congratulations, commander. Oh, thank you so much. But we still have work to do. No, we don't. Okay. Um, intelligence. You see, that used to be economy, didn't it? Okay, so that's priority. Deliver the battle station, Athena. A battle star, Athena to Pycon. Scouts are reported coordinating jumps between multiple Cylon fleets. Prepare for surprise attacks. Anchored at Scorpio, we get bonus for military, so minus 15 for officer promotion costs and minus 10 for shipbuild costs. What we get on income state. That's a lot cleaner, a lot better. I'm wondering what goes there, though. Tells you which colonies are actually still allied and all that kind of stuff. That's nice. I like that. That is so much easier to understand. And useful. Totally more useful than the last screen. Um, what ships can we build? Ooh! Berserk, uh, Berserk Carrier. This is one of the new ones. Okay, well that's what we've got with Manticore. 45, 30, 30, 30, 45, 30. 40, 35, 30, 30, 30, 30. So it's not got a lot of armor, but it's not meant to be that, is it? It's a, a Berserk class carrier is a fast and effective force multiplier. The carrier is not designed to serve prolonged engagements by itself. However, when supported by a battle star or strike group, it can provide powerful complementary firepower and support, squadron support. Okay, so it's not like an adamant. At all. Definitely not like an adamant. It's, I mean, it allows you to have 
uh, additional squadrons and everything, but it's you can tell from this kind of neck and area, like you know, you've got the main body, the uh, bow is just kind of stuck on, and then the engines are stuck on. It deploys one squadron, that's not bad. I would prefer if you had two, but one will do. Um, I guess it's kind of a light version of the Atlas. Comment section if you want to uh, kind of you know chime in on that. Six fifty. That's many fleet points. Six fifty. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to serve. I mean. Base fleet was like two adamants and a manticore. I mean, this gives you the the fighters, but it doesn't give you the missiles of the real adamant's ability to be like in a fight for a while. Maybe it's, it's like a service that role when you get the Artemis. You know, it kind of fits in, and you can throw it into kind of mix things up. Interesting. Um, should I build one now? You know what? Yes. We could choose one. Because uh, we've got two Manticores. We could use a, another ship out there to kind of help this fleet. And another squadron would be nice. Uh, while we're actually on this, let's quickly... See if we can bring up how to do squadrons. Here is shit, left bracket. Yep. No, I'm guessing special attack to disarm. Start ship move mode. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna suggest it's gonna kind of tell us. I'm gonna put the subtitles on. Yeah, everything else is kind of standard. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very. All right. Um. Quick look. Yep, we're good. Okay, let's uh. Let's jump across to PyCon. Fires continue to burn across PyCon. Estimated casualties exceed fifty thousand. Let's rock. Fleet Grid Daedalus, Chapter 2, Athena. Okay, uh, didn't wait long enough. But we have the Athena this time. Or do we have the Athena? I don't think we have the Athena. Let's bring you guys back. Probably should have uh, wait for the berserk thing to be done. Uh, three enemy ships. This could be dangerous. Presence, first presence of Daedalus of mission marker. Okay. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump. Whoa. Jump complete. Dreadus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. PyCon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. Okay. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Fight me, Agathon. 
really, really bite me. We do have the, um, the Athena. This is good. We have the Athena. All right. Athena. Climb. Understood. Daedalus. Launch both of that. You launch that. Um, we're going to have you guys climb as well. What's your durate's range like? Let's push that out. So say we all. Cool. All right. Enter. You help as well. Focus on you and do some missiles as yes, well. Commander. Same with you. If you can, like, click on the one or something like that. You know? It's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Uh, select target. No. Squadron yes. target is confirmed. Then let's go after that. You guys. You know what? Yes. Dana, keep climbing. Yeah, let's take that thing out as fast as possible. All right, go. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, you, Athena, go that way. Yes, Commander. No, ignore that. Go after that. Actually, you. Go down, because that is actually lower than you. Okay. Um, you're not actually in range of anyone. Yet. Yet. Probably get in range of him first. Go. Oh, so close. All right, your firewall on fire control is dying. So say we all. Yes, Commander. You guys keep doing that. You taken out that enemy fighter yet? You have. Awesome. All well done. Um, gotta figure out how to do these uh, squadron. Squadron things. target is. We should be able to select different squadrons, shouldn't we? At least that's the way I understood it. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Done. Missiles incoming. Yep. Flak. Ah. Savior of the battle star. I haven't sang that in ages. So say we all. Now the Talon has guns on top. Not much on the bottom. Okay. Um, you guys select target. I don't want you going after him. I mean, you'll take him down. 
Actually, yes. Change my mind. Go after that. The battle star can take the care of this thing easily. You're all attacking that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, you're okay. Go. Cool. All right, uh, cancel flak, crank up your guns. Drop down a bit, missiles, go. Missiles. Understood. Focus. Missiles. Focus. Go. Oh, straight down the pipe. A battle star is being hacked. Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking the systems, <laughs> but he's being stubborn. Of course he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard net. He's a traitor! Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get a <laughs> the chance. Yeah, because that always works. Um, are they trying to ram us? I mean, it is a tried and tested uh, Talon way of doing stuff. So say we all. How are you doing? Rear is almost dead. Okay. Go. Armory, go. Done. Okay, uh, rear is at zero, so we just leave it for the fighters. Told ya. I have missed this game! Greatest is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Yeah. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. That's a trope. That's the... You should see this trope. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the view replay because we haven't got new ships or anything Admiral, on there yet. Commander, we have a problem. The Idris <sighs> relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning. What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Oh, yes. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. <laughs> Sir? We suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Cool. Thank you very much. And that's where we're going to call it for today. <coughs> well, I say today. I'm thinking I might get a second video out today if I can. Um, obviously, I have other things that I'm doing at the same time with other uploads and whatnot. But if I can, I will. Um, but I'm going to be pumping these out daily, hopefully. That'd be nice. Um, pretty much like everything else. Um, yeah. Let's say I'm going to get the second video out tomorrow. And if I can get it out this afternoon, I will. But anyway. We're playing Battlestar again, people. Yes! <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. And if you're new to the channel you like what you saw, then please do consider subscribing. Um... I am going to have a look, see if I can figure out how to do the squadron thing, because we had four fighters uh, groups out there, and I could 
separate them out and that'd be cool. Um, we could have just hit a button and boom, boom, boom. But it's okay. I, I will figure it out. Until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.